So my passion for glass blowing started the first time I actually took the class. Really started to get into it after Professor Eva offered me a job and when I started just coming around here I just wanted to invest more and more of my time into it so now I could do things from roses to I could do two shaped cups. It's great. Well the reason why I give away my glass blowing gifts for nonprofit, I don't know, I think things that are made by hand, you know, cabinetry, everything else, to small gifts, even small jewelry boxes. I think are a lot more special than somebody just buying you a gift card. My dad was a carpenter and uh, a painter, so we've always been handy in our family, so just really like to give things that were made by hand to people. I've come to learn just the type of caring person that he is, as well as you know how smart the kid is too, um, which is something that you will not see if you just if you just look at him. You won't you won't know that stuff. Um, he has a very passionate personality that I think stands out, and then. Once you, once you actually get to know him, he's, he's a pretty, pretty smart kid. So the team went to Mananak Adult Care. We went and did some landscaping around the, the facility, which it desperately needed. We went as a group that first time, and then a week later, like the following weekend, um, a handful of guys, I think it was three, actually I think it was three guys, went back um, who volunteered to do a little more work. I know that um, the three guys that went uh, all volunteered to go back, and Dimitri was the definitely, I think he was pretty sure he was the first one to, to volunteer. What made me want to go back the second time was, I think, just the lady being so generous and nice, and she really appreciated the work that we did. You know, we painted their, their little stay away, and then I'm a painter, so really just the lady telling us thank you over and over again just really meant a lot. You know, because it's not every day that people always tell you thank you nowadays. So it was also really, really nice to hear somebody thank us for our work that we provided. He's a great kid. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but you know, he's gone through some some tough some tough times, and um, I'm really I'm really proud of him for sticking out at school too, because um, that's not that hasn't always been easy. And um, you know, I, I'll just I'd do anything for him. Um, I love the kid to death, and. I, you know, I wish him the best, so. What people should take away from this whole interview is that you should definitely invest some time in the glass blowing hut here on campus. And I think one thing that we could all do in the community around in Ringe is maybe say hi to your neighbor more, be more thankful towards each other, and just continue to keep on building a community.